Good morning. I am absolutely knackered. Uh, it's another night of about six hours sleep. It's starting to take its toll really heavily on me now. Uh, we stayed up with knitting last night for quite a while. Then when we came back, I was editing until really late. We are heading out to meet Nitin again today. We've got one of his charity organisation things he's putting on, so we're going to go see that. And then I think we're going for a bit of a day around dry port. Let's go. Okay, so we've just arrived in one of the slightly poorer districts of Jaipur and we're going to go to a session where basically Nitin's NGO um, supplies funds so that uh, pregnant women who can't afford it can come and do like the traditional activities they're supposed to be doing. We're going to go along and maybe help out with that, maybe just uh, observe, but it sounds like a wonderful thing to be a part of. Most of the people are doing the slum jobs like picking up the garbage and cleaning the streets and cleaning the toilets and all. So uh, there are few schools, government schools also, private schools also. But we, in India we, we do have two types of schools as you see. But uh, government schools are, the, are, are being run by the government uh, enterprises. Yeah. And uh, public schools are said to be as private schools. Okay. So okay. public schools means somebody is having, somebody is the owner of that school. Yes. Okay. So it doesn't mean that it's a, it's a public school like in, in uh, Europe. Yeah. Like yeah. You call government school as in public school, but here public schools means private schools. Okay. okay. So uh, students or the kids who are in slum area, they cannot go to this, uh, go to the mm -hmm. uh, school. We collect them from their house and we give them the elementary education. Then we try to put them in a school for a regular education. Okay. That's good. That's good. And for women as well? For women, uh, these are the women who didn't get the chance to uh, get the education when they were uh, kids. Yeah. So, but there's something in their heart to do the studies. Yeah. So now they come up with the things that yes, we also want to uh, do some sort of education. Okay. So now they are coming here to get the education. And a part of education, we are doing a lot of uh, curriculum activities also, a lot of other activities like, like okay. the one which we have today. Yeah. So we keep on doing such activities. And here. so today was for, it was a traditional celebration for yeah, women. Today, Today is a traditional celebration for the women who are pregnant. Yes. Uh, because uh, they are so poor, they cannot do that celebration at their home. Okay. Because of the financial conditions. Yeah. And uh, sometimes their uh, relative are not here, so we we gather, we we, we call them from their house. We um, you know do the spiritual ceremony. We uh -huh. give them uh, coconut. Coconut is said to be a very spiritual offering. Okay. Uh, so we give them coconut, some some chanting, holy chanting. Yeah. Then uh, like we we uh, we set them free. Okay, that's fantastic. It was, it was an amazing experience. Thank you so much. Everyone was so happy and smiling, so much colour and music. Yeah, it was thank lovely. You. So Nitin was just saying that that's one of four of these centres he has and they're spread all the way through this area. Um, so if kids can't make it to that one, then there's three other options for them to go to.
So it looks like this morning's activities are just about rounded off now. Um, everyone's sort of filing out, they're all heading back off home. It was such an incredible experience. Nissan is just the most amazing guy. The amount of the people around this area just absolutely love him. He's done so much good in this area and it's so amazing to see. Like just to find people who give up everything they have to then help others is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Really, truly inspiring. And he's gonna find somewhere nice for us to go to lunch now, uh, and then we'll see what's gonna happen in the afternoon. We've got no plans yet. Okay, we are back at uh, Nissan School. We are gonna go sit in and maybe help out a bit with the uh, English class for the women. I've also definitely decided that uh, Ed and Shaky are idiots. <laughs> they are currently trying to make me an acapella theme song for the channel. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> So we're trying to join in with the writing class and we're doing rubbish. This is almost how to write my name, but not quite. Hopefully I'll get it at the end. Everyone's so interested and engaged, it's amazing to watch. Means kids. But Very good. Okay, Okay, you have to pull your hand back. Otherwise, you are out. Okay? Before, before tapping. Alright. Okay, you So what? Somewhat, Mangalwar, 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 <laughs> okay, so we have just jumped in an Uber. Um, actually, we're finding this is definitely the cheapest way to get around. A lot of the like tuk-tuk drivers, they charge you like three or four times as much as an Uber does. I know it's a nice experience, or like the first time you come out, just to just to give it a go getting a tuk-tuk. But this is definitely the cheaper option, and they're usually really prompt to get you to exactly where you need to go. Yeah, it's just a good good way to get about. We're heading back to that textile place. These two have just got a couple of bits to pick up. I want to pick some shorts up. And then I think we're just going to head back to the hostel and crash for a little bit. Okay, so we're back here at the textile place. Um, I've got some new linen shorts. So they're just a bit harder wearing. You know, they're really nicely made actually. But uh, I was getting fed up of wearing sport shorts like every single day. So I've just gone for a pair of linen ones. Everyone says linen is a good thing to wear out here. I don't have a clue. Uh, we've got those. And then those two around there are getting their suit sorted. So let's Let's go have a look at that. Hey, just
Birmingham and Jack are. Business. <laughs> <laughs> What's that like? Lego. <laughs> Lord Business. <laughs> can I, did you get a good line? Um, you can have a look for yourself. Oh yes, you did. It's quite nice. Oh my god. I think it actually goes well with this shirt. Oh well, my somehow, god. I somehow fluked That's it. And amazingly good lining. Strike your pose. Oh, good. Oh, good. That's not a pose. That's just like okay. Like looking <laughs> off into the distance. Yeah. Oh, that's that's really good. Good. Yeah. That's all I can do. Okay. Edge straight pose. <laughs> really heavy. Um, we have now finished in the uh, textiles place. We all got all the stuff we wanted. I'm now wearing my new shorts, so that's really good. Um, and everything should be getting shipped in the next couple of days. We are now heading back to the hostel very briefly. Basically, we want to have a shower and stuff before we head out this evening. We're going to just pop into Ganapathy Plaza and try and get some food there, just a bit of street food. I'm really hoping they've got like a masala dosa or something because I'm absolutely addicted. We'll get that and then we are probably going to have quite an early night because we're up really early tomorrow to go to some... I think we're going to a, a knitting temple. So we'll go to Nitin's temple, have a bit of a blessing in the morning, and then head onwards from there. <laughs> That was like four. What are we having? What's this called? Tali. Yeah, we're just having Tali. Uh, this is Tali House, and actually, the food's really, really good. Mm. This is what we're going for. And it is deep. Yeah. There you go. Very good. Thank mm. you. Thank you. Ciao. Yeah, I recommend coming here. If you're staying in the Mustache, it's literally just down the road. Uh, just ask the reception, they'll give you directions. It's really, really nice. Try the best stuff. We've just had our Tali. Rajasthan Tali, I think. Or Tali Special? Can't remember. Really good. Like, really yummy. Way too much for us though, we should have ordered like one plate. Oh, way too much for you. No, I'm sorry, the two of you have eaten the same amount as I have. Like, what is that about? Poor effort if you ask me. 